Welcome back everyone to the Collector Channel. Today I'll be opening up some more boxes and packs from 1992 and 93 basketball. Um, so yeah, I have three boxes here. I have Top Stadium Club Series 2, and this is the series that has the Beam Team cards. Um, if you remember, those are those shiny insert cards that have like really shiny borders on each side. They're really cool. Um, there's a Shaquille O'Neal rookie beam team chance of getting that and a Jordan beam team and then a bunch of other stars too but those are the two main uh, star cards to get there's also Fleer Ultra Series 1 and Series 2 so chance of getting the Jordan card I believe in Series 1 and then the Shaq rookie uh, some cool inserts here so you can kind of see the inserts that are ultra all rookies uh, in there 10 card subset I think there's a Shaquille O'Neal and that um, so yeah super cool cards I'm not gonna obviously open up all these today because there's a ton of packs 36 packs 36 packs and probably 36 packs in here too yep 36 so let's start opening this I really want to try to get a beam team card I think that'd be awesome and by the way if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do so I'd really appreciate it and here's this sealed 1992-93 Series 2 Top Stadium Club. Hopefully we get the Shaquille O'Neal rookie card in here. And the most difficult part here should have like a, a scissors or something here, but I think we can get this open somehow here. Alright, there it is, the trickiest part, getting this off. Okay, when you think you have it, you just don't quite have it. There we go. Okay, so we're unwrapping this. It was factory sealed, now it's no longer. That's okay because we're gonna open this up and have a ton of fun going back in time. Look at that. That is so cool. And the fun, okay, there's so many fun things about opening these, but one of them is they don't cost a ton of money. These boxes go for, okay, it's pretty wide range, which a lot of these boxes are. 40, $35 to about $85. So, uh, some people realize that, hey, there's a chance of getting a Shaquille O'Neal or Jordan Beam team, so they might charge more. And then some people just say, oh, this is 92 93 It's not really much value and it's 90s stuff, and they'll just put it for like 30 40 bucks for sale. So sometimes you can find good deals. Anyway, here's our first pack. These are really cool looking packs. I like the, I like the black and the orange and the yellow. So series two, everyone, 15 super premium picture cards per pack. And I won't take this long opening up each pack, by the way, it's just the first pack. It's like, you know, you probably want to see what it looks like, including me. I haven't, I haven't opened these in years. It's been so long and I've never opened a box ever. I mean, back when these came out, it was like tough to afford a few packs. So, so. Um, now there should be, Alonzo Morning rookie, maybe Harold Miner rookie. Chance at getting those. So some cool cards to collect in here. Um, okay, so club membership, limited time offer. We'll set that aside. I'm sure that's expired. Okay, so we'll organize these cards here. Try to get so we can focus in. There we go. Matt Geiger. Okay, and then yeah, these cards are kind of all different directions. Dwayne Coswell, Larry Stewart, Dominique Wilkins, and Mark Akers, Lorenzo Williams, Danny Ainge. Is that how you pronounce his name? Ainge or Ainge? I don't know. I remember he was on a, a Game Boy, Nintendo Game Boy game, um, a basketball game. So I remember uh, him being on the team on there. Otherwise, I didn't know a whole lot about him as a player. Terry Mills. Um, we have Tracy Moore. And I'll go through these a little bit quicker after this first pack. I just want to open this one a little bit slower. Jared Wilkins. Walt Williams, I remember Walt Williams, and Keith Askins, 
And Byron Houston. 92 draft picks. That must be a rookie card, too. All right, now it's time to move a little bit quicker. So let's try to get a Beam Team card here. How cool would that be? I'm, you know, I should have looked at the odds of the Beam Team cards. So Dale Ellis, um, Marty Conlon. Let's, let, I'm just gonna go through these even quicker. I know I kind of get slowed up looking through these because it's like pretty cool to look at these since I haven't opened a pack in ages. Mark Randall, Mark Jackson, Todd Day, I remember him too. Charles Smith, Tim Hardaway, he was a good player. David Robinson obviously was. And so is Anthony Peeler, another rookie card in that set. I remember that was a card I used to try to get to. It's Anthony Peeler, Harold Miner, Alonzo Mourning, and ultimately the Shaquille O'Neal. It's kind of interesting because I remember opening these packs. I remember collecting cards back when these came out. And some of these players that are like so popular to collect, and I really didn't follow them the rest of their career. I kind of got out of collecting basketball cards and watching basketball at certain times, uh, mainly the late 90s. So I just wonder what happened to some of their careers and how well they ended up doing. Obviously, some of them, like Shaquille O'Neal, I remember he did really well, and uh, Grant Hill from the next, I think Grant Hill was the next year rookie, and after that it was Kevin Garnett and a ton of other good players too. So I'm losing a little bit of focus here. Hope I didn't pass up uh, Shaquille O'Neal or Michael Jordan. Those are the two big cards I want to pull out. Scottie Pippen, another great basketball player. Tim Hardaway, David Robinson, Anthony Peeler again. What's uh, John Stockton? In the next pack we'll look at condition a little bit more, see how good a condition these cards are. <clears throat> I've said this before in videos, the more packs I open and, and analyze, it, I really respect true gem mint cards that are actually like a 10 out of 10. Ones that haven't been altered or, or uh, doctored in any way. I really respect them because it's not easy to get a pack or a card in a pack that's a PSA 10 or graded 10 by any of the companies. It's very difficult. I've even opened up boxes from a sealed case and it's like there's still little defects in the cards a lot of times. So the condition on these, I don't know, is that a stain or is that just a part of the card? I don't know. That's interesting. Googliata, that's another cool card to get. But yeah, the condition of these cards, they're, they're pretty nice overall. I mean, there's a little bit of a... The corners, they're pretty sharp. I don't know if I'd quite say they're gem mint sharp, but they're pretty sharp. I think it'd be so cool to open a beam team on camera. Like that's, to me that's like opening up history. Glenn Rice. Take out some more packs. I'm not sure how many packs we'll open today. I'll just keep going for a while here. Hopefully we get a beam team. Maybe I should be grabbing uh, from different parts of the box. So you remember, I don't know if that's still what people do and you know, grab a certain pack, like second to the bottom on the right side or whatever, you know. I just remember people saying stuff like that in the past, like, okay, you gotta grab the third pack down, top right, or whatever it was. So I don't know if there's any truth in that. Kind of interesting, though. Carl Malone. So I know I'm passing up some stars, but I don't think everything's, every player's worth 
putting aside in a case. Alright, let's keep going with the packs. So do you have any memories of opening up these or any other really any other year that just brings back a lot of memories for opening packs? Uh, these sure do for me. And feel free to leave comments. I, I really like seeing the comments in the comment section below. It's fun to read them. And sometimes we can learn some things about collecting and cards. Um, it's fun to share things like that to gain more hobby knowledge. So we have Christian Leitner, rookie card. We'll keep going through these here. Robert Pack. Christian Leitner again. So that's interesting. So that, I didn't know there's two Christian Leitner cards there. Wow. So one, one must be a variation or something. I just, that's interesting. I'll, I'm going to set those aside. I'll have to look into that. I didn't know that. So is there, I wonder if there's two cards for a lot of these players or if there's some variations, double prints, but that's interesting. I haven't looked enough into this set to know that. Uh, when I collected it, it as just kind of simple collecting. I mean, it seemed more than simple as like such a big deal, but it was just, you know, buy, buy a pack and everything goes into your card book. Even the commons. I mean, I, everything was really collected and cherished a lot. Clarence Weatherspoon, Gunder Vitra. Was being a little bit tricky. Another thing you don't have to worry much about with this is resealing packs. And it's just really no motivation for someone to reseal a pack. I guess there's beam teams and so on, but these packs would be, I would imagine, more difficult to reseal, although it could happen. I, uh, it seems like it'd be a pretty big waste of time though, and obviously unethical to do, not a good thing to do. Minute Bowl. I remember him. He was really tall. Let's see how tall. Um, wait. Okay, I was going to say he's not six foot eight. That was the wrong card. <laughs> um, seven foot seven. Okay, wow. Seven foot seven, 225 pounds. Seven foot seven. I did not, I didn't remember he's that tall. That is super tall. Wow. And unfortunately, I think Minute Bull passed away. Kurt Rambis. Derek Coleman, he's another good player. Oh, we got a Alonzo Morning rookie card. I remember this card. I still have this original card in my collection that I opened years back in a pack. So I'll add this to the collection. Definitely keep that aside. Brian Howard, Dominique Wilkins, I remember that card too. Mitch Richmond and Joe Dumars. Did we open another Dominique Wilkins too earlier? I can't remember. It seems like we did. So maybe there are two of each player with some of them. All right, let's keep going here, everyone. Put that card aside. Yeah, we did get two Dominique Wilkins cards. So, there's the other one. That's right. Clyde Drexler. That's a cool card. I always like Clyde Drexler cards. They're just, I don't know, something cool about him. He's always gliding, like jumping and doing a cool slam dunk or something. That's why he's Clyde the Glide. He was real, real fun to watch. Good, awesome player. I'd like getting Clyde Drexler's rookie card, an 86 player. I think that'd be a fun card to get. I'd actually like to collect a lot more 86 player cards in general. Get the uh, Jordan rookie, the um, 
And something interesting, I don't think I've ever owned a Jordan rookie. If you've seen all my videos, there's been some really cool cards, but I don't think I've ever had a Jordan rookie. I think I've had a Barkley rookie, uh, Elijah Vaughn, and Carl Malone rookie. But I'd like to get those again too because I don't have them anymore. That's cool, Jordan in the background. Greg Grant and Jordan in the background. I'll put this card aside too because there's collectability in Jordan, cards with just Jordan in them, like even if he's not the, the center player in there. Alonzo Mourning, I never had this rookie variation of Alonzo Mourning. I'm going to put this aside. So would you say that Alonzo Mourning would probably be the second biggest rookie card in this set? I, I think he would be. Next to Shaquille O'Neal first, Alonzo Mourning second. That's my guess. Walt Williams. And last card, Reggie Miller, awesome three-point shooter. Has a little bit of a ding in the top corner there. So I've been just pulling from one side. I'm going to pull from a few different sides. So I'll grab from all four corners of this box. And I think that'll be the last three packs. So I've been grabbing from one corner as the bottom right corner of the box. Now these are from the other remaining corners of the box. Kevin Johnson on the back, cool card. Oh wait, we got a beam team! I gotta check this out right away. Okay, stuck. How cool is that? Beam Team card, Elijah Wan, awesome card, great condition, Beam Team card, that is so cool. I mean this is, this is history right here everyone. Beam Team, I know I'm excited about this, I really truly am, because that is just so cool, we got a Beam Team card, I'm glad I grabbed from that corner. Now I'll be interested to see if we get any more Beam Team cards. I don't want to be like, hey, I'm not happy with just one because I'm so happy with that one. But if we could get more, that would be cool. I don't, I don't know if we will, though. Kevin Johnson again. I'm excited to look at that card again. The interesting thing, I was just looking at the Elijah on online the other day. I was like, oh, that's a cool card. Okay, so two more packs. We'll do two more packs and I'll open the rest of the box another time. I'm so glad we got that Beam Team card. And I don't know what it's worth, but really it doesn't even matter. It's just cool to get a Beam Team card. I've never opened a Beam Team card in a pack. All of my years of collecting. It was just too difficult to do that. You had to spend so much money to buy enough packs to do that and I couldn't do that in the past so Fonzo Ellis I did own some Beam Team cards but I buy them at my local card store for I don't remember even what I paid but I you know what actually I do remember a star this is an interesting story I think it was a Dominique Wilkins Beam Team card I did have that and to get that I had to trade my bicycle for that's how dedicated I was to collecting I traded my bicycle for it and I actually walked away thinking I got the best deal. I was like, wow, oh, I got a, a really good deal. So it was pretty important to me to collect those. And I think that might have been the only... I might have owned other ones too throughout the years, but that was my first at the time. And I really enjoyed that card. Harold Minor Rookie. I think I'll put the Harold Minor Rookie aside too. Just because I liked... I think... I'm trying to think of his, his, you know, slam dunks or something. There's something I really liked about his playing ability. It might have been a slam dunk contest or something. That was really cool. Mitch Richmond on the back. I 
Okay, so we'll keep going through here. Dale Ellis. All right, Derek Coleman. Another Alonzo Mourning rookie. So did I miss a Shaq rookie? It's like I, I don't see a Shaq Shaquille O'Neal rookie yet. So I don't know, I've been really focused on these beam teams. I did pick up the Alonzo Mourning rookie, so maybe I didn't. But it seems like we should have gotten a Shaq rookie by now. Dominique Wilkins. Joe Dumars, and Mitch Richmond. All right, everyone, so that is it. We still have a bunch more packs to open. I will save those for a different video. I might take a break from opening these and open up Fleer Ultra, too. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. I do want to see if we get another uh, Beam Team card, though, too. And let me show you that Beam Team card again. I'm going to get this in a case right away. And I'm glad I didn't have to trade my bicycle to get this. We just got this in a pack. It was a ton of fun. All right, so thanks again, everyone. Please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Bye.